Should I make this taller? Yes. It's okay. okay. Hello, my name is Grace, um, and I am, as of this moment, a proud graduate of the Davidson School of Jewish Education. Mm. I want to thank Chancellor Schwartz and the JTS leadership who champion this institution, my fellow classmates, our families and friends who support us and celebrate us, and the faculty who have changed us. As advanced students of Jewish studies, we know how central storytelling is to our tradition. I imagine we are each motivated as educators, as leaders, as Jews, to explore the depths of our stories and share their wisdom. As I look back on my degree at JTS, I am amazed by how much I have learned and how well I've been prepared to do this kind of work. A few weeks ago, I wrote a play about Miriam's role in the Passover story, which my fourth grade Hebrew school students performed. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so much of my JTS education flows through this play and the lesson I crafted around it. It all began with a biblical studies course um, I took here, where I wrote a research paper about Miriam. I studied every line of Torah in which she appears, which it turns out is not that many. This only galvanized me to read the abundant Midrash about her, Baruch Hashem. Thanks to my graduate studies in Midrash, I was prepared to weave into my play stories of young Miriam saving Hebrew babies, deflecting the wrath of Pharaoh, prophesying unborn Moses as the Jewish savior, and advocating that her own mother stay on as Moses' nurse after he's adopted by Pharaoh's daughter. If you're thinking, wow, I didn't know Miriam did all that. Well, you're not alone. I didn't either. And that's why I felt so determined to share this story with my students. I now had the play, but thanks to my Davidson courses, I knew I had to ask myself, why is this story, this particular story, of value to my students? What is the enduring understanding I hope to impart? Well, I thought, as a young girl, Miriam shapes the future of her community by speaking her truth. Perhaps through studying Miriam, my young students might appreciate the power of their own words and voices. To shape the lesson around this learning, I split them into groups, giving each a different act of the play to learn, to own, and to perform for their classmates. Everybody got to be a character. Everybody got to speak. Everybody got to pick a fun hat from, from the costume box, me included. Um, and in the script, at the recommendation of my dear supervisor, I had given Miriam brief monologues in the script where she challenges her fears and encourages herself to do the brave, right thing, like speaking up to Pharaoh or her parents. After the play, one student shared, I learned that some of the most powerful words are the ones we say to ourselves. Other fourth grade students nodded emphatically in agreement. Brilliant, I thought. This is exactly why I do this. I hadn't even considered that before. My fellow graduates, we are all teachers and storytellers. We are leaving this place with a great gift and the responsibility to share it. There is a teaching from Pesichta de Rav Kahana that when you study words of Torah, they are not to seem antiquated to you, but as fresh as though the Torah were given on this day. That is the eternal challenge our tradition poses to us. And through our learning, we keep it fresh and alive for ourselves. Through our work and through connecting in community, we bring it to life for others so that we may all know our shared story a little better and be strengthened by it. I want to congratulate all of us for reaching this milestone. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>